What radio surgery is, is the ability to deliver treatments very, very, very precisely. And by doing that, we can do two things. One is we can decrease the number of treatments. And so instead of delivering, say, 30 treatments, what we might have had to do previously, we could give five or less treatments. And so the precision becomes very critical. It gives us a lot of new capabilities for imaging the patients in a variety of different ways, both using x-rays and also using projected lights to map the surface of the patient. And this lets us um, be absolutely sure that we set the patient up from day to day at the same location. The other thing we've been able to do is to adapt our treatments to a person's breathing. So as a person breathes, tumors move, normal tissues move. We can adapt the treatment now to that respiration and make the treatment even that much more precise. Predominantly, it's going to provide our patients with better tumor coverage for less side of breast cancer while we decrease the dose to the heart and lung, which are critical organs that we would like to avoid. This new technology can help people with a variety of different tumors, including lung cancers, prostate cancers, breast cancers, liver tumors. Uh, the list just goes on and on. From an individual's point of view, is more convenience because you have to come less. And secondly, the control rates and the cure rates are higher. And so the, the standards of care that we're we're starting to look at as to adopt these techniques in certain areas such as tumors in the brain. There, there's a big push now to consider less treatments but much more intense. And so here at Griffin Hospital, we'll be able to do that. It's exciting. It is the future. We're very fortunate to have it. We're also able to deliver it in a way that is very, very attentive to the individual, to the individual's family. It's convenient. So this is the best of both worlds as far as I'm concerned.